Props to Ramona for this, please. Like, props to Ramona. I've never known such a small woman who has written such great episodes of television. I mean, I don't know that many people who write television, but she's just really small. She's small and adorable, and she writes ridiculous stuff for Degrassi. We've got the return of, like, kick-ass Claire again, which is, like, this is the Claire we love. For so long, we were like, oh, when she likes this chicken boy, like, what are we gonna Can do? Can we talk about how much happened in this half hour, right? so much As Jim happened. First of all, need to talk about Casey and Connor back in the game together. It's incredible. Like, both of them have just, like, grown up so much. I know. In so many I, and ways. I feel like I just saw Connor, but, like, seeing him again, I was like, who are you? Why are you, like, so tall and old? And Connor is, like, you know, a little boy. I was, I was shocked. And they're both so good. Don't know where that like park scene was when they were like walking in that like yeah, awkward figure it out either, canal. But, thing. I mean, either way, Smurl was in football attire, and I was so okay with it. I was like, okay, you can just be like that, Smurl. And I'm so happy that they're bringing back Connor's issues and his weird right. pragmatics, which was like our whole thing. We just really wanted to see them like touch on, stay consistent you know, with his like with his Aspergers, and they did. And I'm like, thank you yeah. for doing this because sometimes people forget that there is a person with Aspergers on mm. the show because Connor doesn't come around that much, and it did. And I'm so happy. You know, the both of us are the, the biggest Mo supporters in the entire world. We love him. But gotta say, was hardcore hating on my boy Connor today. So was I really was sad. I was really upset. How could you do this, Mo? Like, I'm pretty sure you were, like, the most awesome person ever. Like, I was literally like, wow, there's no flaws. Mo, Mo was, like, totally adorable. People stop hating on him. Even in the beginning, I was like, oh, oh, and don't hate on Mo. He's so cute. And then he turned it around. And because he was getting you know, sassed or whatever, he decides to sass Connor, and I was like, that does not fly. It's like, just because he feels badly about himself. It really That's is. That's really all And he it shouldn't is. even, because he's, like, super adorable. I'm like, no, what are you doing? Oh. They make him out to be some sort like, of, like, whoa, <laughs> like, picking him up with a crane or something. <laughs> right? Like, he's not <laughs> like that fat. He's so not that fat. Like, he's really cute. It was really frustrating. I was just like, Mo, first of all, you need to get okay with the person that you are. Secondly, you need to stop hating on my boy Connor. It was nice that Casey he was like sort of there. I was like trying to do something about it, and he like tried to explain to Connor the problem. And I was just, it was really sad. Yes, like just seeing Connor like doing his thing, just being Connor, yeah. and not just like the kid in the background like tagging along with the group, and like you're forgetting that he is Connor. Like it was just so great, and I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm just so very happy. The Connor plot was really happy to have it back. Obviously, the plot though was like super sad. And I'm hoping for, you know, some kind of reconciliation between Mo and Connor in the future. And then... Eli used to be on the show. <laughs> but... And now it's this guy who wears, like, roosters on his shirt and goes running. I'm like, why are you running? He kind of reminds me of Monroe Chambers. <laughs> like, I'm not really sure who he is. He was a little sweaty. He was going on a brisk run. He's like a new Rafiki now. He's like, it's a, like... A reformed Yeah, Rafiki. it's like, it's not like manic Eli squash banana. Now it's like, going on a run. Hey, what's going on? Woo, woo, woo. Oh, Imogen. Fiona. Yeah. Like, there's craziness. But it's like this, like this refined crazy. The second I just felt that every ounce of Eli Goldsworthy had been evaporated into the atmosphere was when he stole Fiona's cheesecake and he was just like, and I just don't care. <laughs> and I was like, it was so yep, funny. Eli's, yep, you're gone, because I'm pretty sure Eli didn't eat. You know, I, I right? I just, I don't mind, because, you know, I liked his whole broody Eli-ness for a while, and, you know, people can't stay the way that they are forever. I think it's a nice new sort of person emerging. The change is refreshing. It it's is. just gone from one extreme to, to another. another. Like, it's crazy. He came in, his hair was like, woo! I was, like, I was just like, doing? wait a second, what are you wearing? He's in this, like, gray and black striped big old hoodie thing. I was just like, oh no. Oh, oh no. It was really strange. And the hair is not as extreme as it used to be. I'm telling you, it's the a makeup new... makeup is gone. It's a new sort of crazy hair. It was kind of like, boo! <laughs> not like, in your face and very Yeah, it's extreme. not like Eli Goldsworthy. It's like, Eli Goldsworthy! It like was before very he was like, dun dun, 
And now he's like, dun dun. <laughs> he can have his whole little, you know, fun plot with this whole, oh, might get Imogen thing. Might get Imogen. Not gonna happen. Because yeah. we all know who's gonna end up back together. You know, okay, we did get like a little taste of old Eli back where he was like, I hurt her. So. Yeah, that was so I old Eli. Right? I was, still like, there. I was like, that bitch is still there. It's still, still there. Still in, like, there. in little spurts. Uh, Fiona likes Imogen. I know. Imogen likes Eli. I'm, Eli likes Imogen. We don't, yeah. Apparently, Imogen is an artist, which I was like, you would be an artist. You would well, be. Well, remember she, like, drew that portrait of him in the alley yeah. in, like, 30 seconds? We were yeah, like, like, where the <laughs> hell did that come from, But, like, I, I was just like, yeah, of course. Imogen has a father. Dad. Who, like, is a teacher of some sort. Who, I had a brother! <laughs> no! <laughs> but you <laughs> had a sister! Yeah, not Anyway. <laughs> it was nice to see... Imogen with kind of like a little skill and a whole family that we don't get to hear about that much. So I was like, okay, cool. And I really like, I'm I'm very much for Femogen right now. I think it's cute. I love- But later. Oh, but later. But, but later. later. Cause we don't want anything, no rushing into things now. You they know? have a very cute chemistry. Yes. It's, it's very much very, so. It's nice. It's very innocent and I like that. There's nothing crazy going on. That's the thing. Like, Cause before Fiona was with like skanky, experienced Charlie, right. or like scared, unexperienced Adam. Yeah, and now it's, it's just, just like, like it's cute. It's neutral. Mm -hmm. Like we found like a common land of like cute and and normal for Fiona. Yeah, loved so how cute. Mama Coin came in and was like, and she's cute. And I was like, Mama Coin, you are so supportive of this relationship. I love it. I Mama Coin loves the ladies too. <laughs> I, it should. She gets it from somebody. I don't That's know. That's just what I'm I saying. Know. Claire is back. Better than ever. This Jenna is, is fertile. Get her out. The best part of this episode for me was Jenna and Jake walk into the doorway. And you look fun on you. Oh, no, 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 that, no, no, no. that made my blood boil. I literally went, but Claire is just like, Hi, Jenna. Jake is like, do you want to join us? And she's like, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. And I'm like, and that was brilliant. She's like, I'm just going to read a little bit about Mr. Edward Cullen here. And there you go. I love that they like brought back her like Fortnite addiction. Please. God. We finally figure out, you know, the summer chick with the hippie van. And Claire is now living in a commune. Um. Yeah. Hello, weed house. Weed house. <laughs> Claire's going to live in a like they were all at the dinner table with Jenna and Jake and they were eating steak and I really thought they would be eating chicken but they weren't. But anyway, so he was like, this is our house and all of, all I could think about was, our house <laughs> in the middle of our street. And you sent Claire Edwards to her room? And, and Claire was like, you are not my father. It was like, it was not like, a, it was like yeah. one of those daytime talk shows. You are yeah, not, not the father. father. Exactly. Like, exactly. This is what Claire needed to do. Finally, she's back with another awkward family dinner, of course. Not the mama. Me. Claire never gets through dinner. No. She's just like, I'm leaving. Goodbye. I hate you. And I'm sorry, but your daughter's clearly going through some stuff. I, I hate I, Helen. I, I I'm really, sorry. Oh, I've never really liked Helen, even from before. But like That's now, Darcy's like, mom. That's not Claire's mom. Exactly. And she was a jerk then, too. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. When she was talking to Han Salago. No. I just, I really hate her. Anyway, the fact that her daughter's going through some major issues right now with all of this change, and she does not have Nobody the cares. time to listen. I was just so grateful that they brought Randall back for that scene. Yeah, I, I was, was like, too. thank you. That needed to happen. Thank you for not pretending like he just, He's like, just vanished, vanished in yeah. thin air. And he came back, and he was like, oh, Claire, sorry, I'm living with Irene. And, oh, yeah, she has kids, so you're out. And I was just like, oh, yeah. my God. So, basically, Claire had nowhere else to turn, except she could have turned, oh, I don't know, anywhere else, except for the fact that she decided to go to the weed house. Dropped her phone into a fish tank. What are you doing? Claire, it Claire. took you, like, four seasons to get a smartphone. Finally, you've got one. And, and you throw it under the sea. It, when the old lady drops the heart of the ocean back into the ocean, oh! Claire, you don't know what you just done. Don't listen to the crazy people with their organic breads. Yeah. Who cares about them? When they, when you go they're to the house They're braiding their leg hair. <laughs> At first, because that guy seemed real creepy creeps. I, I was thinking mother-child reunion part one and two. I, I was peed. like, he gonna kill her. I got all tingly. I was like... <gasps> 
he's going to do something to Claire and it's not going to be okay. It It's really scary. We all know what it's going to be. Yes, we all know what it's going to be. Maybe uh, Officer Turner will be there. Who knows? Breaking up some stuff. I really like what he does that. I He's like, I'm here. here. I'm the only police officer in this side of town. <laughs> in this Other urban police, community. Right? Like, I'm like, where are the police? You go to the police station, there's one desk, Officer Turner, and everything has to go through him. I was not thinking in my mind that Claire was like, oh, Allie's with Jake. I was thinking, like, she knew it was Jenna and, and she, she was, was going to be like, friends with Allie. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I thought. And I then, didn't even, and then she was like, oh, you know, didn't get enough of Jake at the cabin. I was like, oh, yeah, that happened. Right? I just figured, Allie's a jerk. You don't like her. And then Which I went, wait, wait there's, anyway. a, there's a reason why she didn't like Allie. It wasn't just because we don't like Allie. The serial boyfriend Ceal stealer. Serial boyfriend stealer. Yes. Don't you love how, like, now that they're, like, older and broodier, like, they're in Perino's class? Like, well, you have to go to Perino's like, jerk. Like, when you reach broody, like, maximum brutosity, you have to go to Perino's class. Like, yes. Claire, I'm gonna send you to Simpson, and I'm like, well. And Claire's like, no, you're not. And he's like, I guess I'm not. But maybe next time. I'm like, you know what? I've had enough of you. What's Simpson gonna do? C Claire, your, your feelings? Very sorry about that. Like, <laughs> that's exactly spills what coffee all over herself. <laughs> so much hating on Jenna, and I oh, was like, Oh, well, yes. which is our favorite hobby, you know? Not I Jenna. just really like when they hate on Jenna. Me too. Oh my god, Claire! Jenna is back in her life? After taking KC, that who, after losing KC, that's a big deal. Because, good lord, have you seen the boy? Her parents were acting. Well, no. Not the father and the mom mm -hmm. were acting like giving up her child for adoption was an admirable act. Exactly. And if like Claire if got pregnant, they'd be like, oh no! Oh Claire my god, pregnant. Hen in general, like if Claire was pregnant, she'd be like locked in the attic to never see another soul. She'd be 20 generations like ahead, and like they'd unlock the door and she'd be chained to the wall and she'd be like, <laughs> it was like Rafiki Claire tonight. There was some moment. She was screaming in her pillow. What's happening, guys? Claire's getting broodier. Eli's turning into that's Mr. It, Mr. Yoga that's what Man. it is. Like they're they're turning together. Into they each are other. the perfect balance, but apart. What is it? Do you know that's what it is? I know. No, Taylor. Because they okay. Because <laughs> they were in each other's lives. Because they came into each other's lives. They have. They have brought out both sides of each other's souls, which they are now turning into separately, and then in the end, they will all come together, and they will become one piece of the heart. It's, uh, <laughs> the heart. Well, like, that's what I'm saying. When they were apart, they can't, like, their emotions will not, so it was like Rafiki Eli, and she was like, you scared me, and then... And then it was like, I'm going for a job. I got a rooster on my shirt. Swing! And then Claire's like, Wee! Jenna, condoms! Eh! And it's crazy, but it's true. They're uh, Ian Claire. And and game has to happen. I'm glad we established it with you guys. I'm so glad you know. we talked about it because now I feel good about yeah, it. Yeah, so, you know, amazing episode. Can't wait to see the next one. It's really good. Oh my god. And it just so much happens. Like, it just can't like, get enough. It felt like more than 22 minutes. No, it did. It, it really did. For the amount that they packed into there, like, Ramona, stop it. You're so good. And I love this Dixie Chick song, and I'm not afraid I'm to say it. I'm not ready to make nice. One last comment. Now that Claire lives in that house, all I kept thinking was, wait a second. They just had like six months of summer, and now she lives with summer. It is eternal summer in Degrassi land. It never ends.